Hello viewers, today we're going to be changing out the computer at this desk. This is the machine I was previously using here. This is a Dell Optiplex 780 with a Core 2 processor shipped with Windows 7. That's what it ran. And I think these are totally adequate computers still. I'm very fond of these Core 2 processors, especially when you get into the, the upper 2 gigahertz, 3 gigahertz frequency. They're really totally adequate in my opinion for use today. And so I'm not replacing this because it wasn't satisfying the use case. It satisfied the use case just fine. In fact, this was the machine that I would always use when I would record a video on the computer, you know, like of the screen showing something on the computer. I have this one sitting around here and this is a lot more powerful. It just doesn't make any sense to me to keep using that one when I have this one floating around. So for now I'm going to put this over here at this desk. main reason I'm finding this acceptable for over here is because it happens to have the audio port in the back. Which oddly enough is a more recent change in the design. The older ones do not have the audio port in the back. It's only on the front. So let's see what we got to do here. I bought some new cables for this computer. I bought these display cables because this only has display port out and the monitors are the VGA. So I bought these cables which will take us from the display port to the VGA. And what is that? Press down the release button when unplug. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Focus. Focus. Please press the release button when unplug. <laughs> Made in China. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the old VGA cables from these monitors. And we're going to replace it with these new ones. And no, I'm not going to screw it in because that's just not necessary. These monitors don't move. Okay, so there's one. Jeez, I hope this is long enough. These are only... Um, maybe three feet, I think? Maybe I should have gotten one that's a little bit longer. There's any other changlish on here? Oh, there is. Benefit is focused on HD video, audio, high speed data transfer, a comprehensive solution vendor to mirror various contents from portable device to the bigger screen, transmit the data with high speed. To make life more comfortable and easy, enjoy the mobility of portable device with high enjoyment of clear and large screen transmit the data in high speed as an online seller paperless user manual please refer to the Amazon web page go to the order management select your order click the item image or link if you need any assistance please don't hesitate to contact the support Looks like it's maybe in German or something. I don't know. Whatever. If the cables work, they work. 
this is one of those unfortunate scenarios where you really can't get a lot of cables that are made in the USA. They are almost all made in the China because DisplayPort is a technology that is recent enough to be far beyond the era where almost anything was still made in America. Oh yeah, it'll reach. In fact, it'll be the perfect line. Okay, so we're going to plug in these two screens. And I've got an Ethernet cable over here that we're going to plug in. The Ethernet cable is a bit on the short side, but that's whatever. Let's see, we need the cord for the mouse and the keyboard. It's the KD connected. we need the audio and then that'll be it for data and we'll need to connect the, the uh, power supply cord. Now this this has been a source of frustration for a while. Somebody put a um, plastic tie wrap thing on here and it's not long enough. So I'm going to finally cut that off and make it long enough so the speaker doesn't keep trying to fall off the table. And I have to go in here anyways to turn this switch on so the network will get a connection. I'll grab this. Hopefully we don't cut the cord in the process. I've certainly done that before and it's very agitating. That went pretty well. Now that speaker should have enough slack to it that it won't be flying off the table all the time. Plug that into there. And it makes a nice clean setup with all the wires coming out the back. And the last thing we need to do is connect the power cord, which is this. Uh, let's see, we're probably going to need, uh, we'll just undo that all the way, and we'll tie this up. Like this should be good enough. Okay. I think it's going to be easier to pull the table out because it's a lightweight table and just drop this down like this. Okay, all of the connections are made. And I guess I'll have to put this speaker on top of there because it's not going to fit otherwise. But the monitor has to go under. I could put it under one of the monitors, but the problem is these monitors don't have height adjustment. So then the monitors would be a different height, and I'm not so sure I would like that at all. 
Okay, now we have a little bit of an issue here. This, this cord's not uh, on top of each other in the wrong way. It should be like that. Okay. It just barely reaches. There's not much slack at all. I guess I should have brought a longer cable. It does work, but it would be more ideal if it was longer. It still doesn't have much slack. Is that the problem? This has been an issue at this desk for months. I'm getting tired of it. It's time to fix it properly. Now underneath we need to take out we need to take out the old VGA cords because we're not using those anymore. And we need to take out the old power cord. thick heavy duty VGA cord from years ago. It's a splitter thing for the graphics card and the old machine that was here. Speakers. Just plug in like so. Yeah, I kind of would rather, would rather the brick not sit on the carpet. Because the heat would dissipate better if it's on the tile. So just leave that, leave that over there. Should be everything connected. Let's see if it's going to work. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Stranger things have happened. like it's working correctly. It's got sound, it's got both screens. The keyboard works. Mouse works. We're good to go. 